17 kilometers in. Code 284.1. So uh, maybe just stick around and we'll talk about exactly what this code is and how to get rid of it here. All right, so 17 kilometers in, and uh, I started getting this engine code popping up here. So for all you guys that don't know how to check your engine codes, what you're going to do is you're just going to turn your key on here. Two clicks. Wait for the dash to pop up. You're going to hold your button down until your options. Click it one time. Engine diagnose. Engine, engine code, sorry. And then bam, that'll pop up your engine code. So you can see here I got the code 284.1. Um, basically what that means is, is the, uh, notorious brake switch. That's right, uh, the brake switch on these things. I find, um, they seem to be a real problem on the 21, 22 models. On most of all the newer Razors, I think they must have went with a newer style brake switch here for these models. And, uh, second you hit a little bit of water with them and stuff, they kind of crap out on you. And then your, uh, engine light comes on with the, your power steering light and then, Basically, you lose your speedometer. Your speedometer don't work, and uh, I think also the power steering doesn't feel like it's fully working as well. But, uh, so, uh, let's go have a little look here. Alright, so let's get down in here and show you guys this little notorious brake switch here. So, right here, what you have plugged into your master cylinder is basically a pressurized switch that uh, runs your brake lights, and it also tells your machine uh, when you press the brakes to start it up. So, what's happening is, is they're not sealed up very well, and water's getting inside of there, moisture. And that's uh, causing the switches to not work. Uh, basically, you can have a couple of different issues. Uh, the brake lights will stay on or uh, they might not work. Mostly, uh, your engine light comes on, your uh, power steering light comes on. Um, kind of felt like the power steering wasn't really, really working. But uh, it was kind of hard to tell. It was still steering just fine. So, basically, what you can do is you can take these off and uh, you can dry them out until they work again then uh, use some dielectric grease put that in there but uh, the dealer does have a fix for this so so yeah if you notice that your engine light comes on with the power steering light check the code if you got the same code that I had chances are it's pretty much your brake switch that's acting up uh, get a hold of your dealer right away if you still under warranty it shouldn't be too big of an issue for them to replace it for you I brought mine in they replaced mine so far it's been working great uh, no more issues like that and splashing through water doing all kinds of stuff and it hasn't acted up again uh, Like I said, it's not a huge huge deal when it first comes on you don't have to panic too bad You can still drive the machine uh, You know the only two main things is well your speedometer doesn't work which ain't really a huge deal You know you can kind of relatively gauge your speed anyways by by the amount of riding that you normally do and uh, I'd say the main thing is is probably your brake lights uh, if those are stuck on then you know, the, uh, then it can start to become a little bit of a safety issue. You know, you definitely need brake lights, especially if you ride with other people. You know, the guy behind you needs to know that you're stopping, right, so you don't have a little accident. Uh, but besides that, my machine still ran great. I still drove it the whole time like that. Basically brought it into the dealer. Didn't cost me nothing. They changed the switch for me. Uh, so really can't complain there. It seems to be working pretty fine now. So uh, if you end up seeing this code, like I said, don't panic. There's a fix. There's a new upgraded switch for it. They're about $100 Canadian, $60, $70 American, however the exchange works out. And uh, that'll get you fixed back up again. It's not a huge issue to you know, affect the way that the machine runs. So yeah, I mean, uh, if you found this information helpful, uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe notification button and uh, smash that like button as well. It really goes a long way towards helping me build my channel, eh, boys? And we'll be bringing other issues up to you guys as we encounter them along the way to show you guys uh, what the causes are and what the fixes are if uh, we run into any. So, and remember, keep the shiny side up, all four on the floor, and we'll catch you on the flip side, eh, boys? Mm -hmm.